idea of doing this is to give the students a demonstration of what reaction with transition metals are with various ions. The ones we're going to use today are carbonate iron, hydroxide iron, and the complexation with ammonia for six metals. The metals being chromium-3, iron-2, iron-3, cobalt-2, copper-2, and aluminium-3. We'll do this sequentially, a metal at a time, and put no only at the observations that we do as we go through this. This is chromium-3 in solution. We are now going to add sodium hydroxide to this. This is one mole solution of sodium hydroxide, and note what happens. As you will see, you have formed a greeny grey precipitate. You must identify what this is. We are now going to add to this an excess of sodium hydroxide and observe what happens. You should have observed that the solution has clarified and you've got a deep green solution. Again, you must try to identify this species. Right. We're now going to add ammonia solution to a, a solution of chromium-3, and again, note the effect of it. You do get a greeny precipitate, which is almost instantaneously starting to re-dissolve in the ammonia. If we had a more concentrated solution of this, the effect should be that it clarifies as you can see, this has happened. We end up in a morph solution. Again, just try and identify this species. The third ion we're going to add to these is carbonate ion. This is a one molar solution of sodium carbonate. Okay, we'll add this drop wise to the solution and see what happens. You can see, if you are quick there, that effervescence initially occurred. And again, the solution has taken on a dirty green grey colour. Adding more carbonate has no effect. So there are the results of the three. We have just done the hydroxide, the ammonia and the carbonate. And that's for chromium-3. This procedure is now going to repeat it for five other metals. Iron 2, Iron 3, Cobalt 2, Copper 2 and Aluminium 3. So as we go along, just note the effects of these.